The boy couldn't believe it. His mother was actually a monster. One day after school, he came home and tearfully told his mother that his classmates called him a monster. As he took off his backpack, revealing his back, for cubs had grown on it. The boy demanded an explanation from his mother. In order to calm down the boy, his mother poured ice cubes into the cups. Then she cried as she took off her scarf, revealing the scars on her neck. And in front of the boy, she revealed the truth. It turned out his mother was a soda monster. She leaned down and poured soda into the cups on the boy's back. Finally, the boy accepted this fact and happily drank the soda. However, his sister found it difficult to accept it in front of her friends. She twisted her arm to show the soda on it. Her friends were stunned. Slowly, they approached the girl and took off their glasses. Inside their eyes were ice cubes. They aimed at the cups and opened their eyes. One by one, the ice cubes fell out. And they became blind as a result. The girl finally understood and felt relieved. She and her friends started a soda party. This story illustrates the importance of accepting oneself and others differences, and finding happiness a harmony through understanding and inclusiveness. The boy had to take a bowl of aphrodisiac every day, but his mother insisted it was for his own good. Even when he was peeing on the street, his mother would bring him a bowl of aphrodisiac to drink, observing his changes as the bus arrived. The boy rushed to catch it, leaving behind the unfinished potion and his mother to clean up the mess. It turns out the boy was mentally challenged, and his mother, fearing he wouldn't find a wife, sought to enhance his appeal with aphrodisiacs. Under her guidance, the boy ended up at a bar, where he tried to chat up the owner's daughter, only to be promptly kicked out by the owner. Walking home disheartened, the boy noticed a beautiful girl and instinctively followed her, sensing his presence. She darted into an alley. Just as the boy tried to walk in, a large rock came hurtling towards him, sending him scurrying home in terror, seeking comfort from his mother. The next day, the girl was found collapsed on a rooftop, having stopped breathing. The boy, as the prime suspect, was apprehended by the police, while his mother, in a panic, could only watch as the police car drove away. This twisted tale, with its tragic conclusion, profoundly reflects the complexity and turmoil of maternal love.